Hi friends, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a delicious bone broth. All ancient cultures have their version of a bone broth or a meat stock, and they wouldn't be without it with good reason. Besides the fact that these are just delicious, delicious recipes, bone broths, meat stocks, all different kinds of broths, they're actually incredibly healthy for you. Bone broth is nature's multivitamin, not a synthetic multivitamin, so it's healthier for you. It is a great natural anti-inflammatory, repairs joints, heals the gut, all the gut issues, repairs, all of them. It supports a healthy immune system. Not only that, bone broth is essential for great hair, skin, and nails. Whatever you put inside your body, way more effective than what you put on top of your body. That is the best skincare secret you will ever hear. Unfortunately, in order to mimic that rich, meaty, complex flavor that bone broth gives us, modern Western culture has replaced that delicious stock with processed, unnatural, artificial, unhealthy ingredients in food. And by doing that, we have lost all those nutritional benefits. Not only that, we don't even cook with non-muscle meat parts of the animal anymore. So we've really moved away from that traditional healthy way of cooking bone broths that is truly essential to our diet as humans. This is a very simple recipe. It's actually the most simple bone broth recipe you're gonna find online and is the basis for traditional Persian bone broths. I'm gonna show you how to make it. All it is is about three to four pounds of meaty bones, so your knuckle bones, your oxtail, your shank, anything that you have that has cartilage on it, perfect. I'm just using some knuckle bones and a shank bone with some meat on it. You just want to throw it all in a big pot. I'm using an instant pot, however, you can also use a traditional pot, whatever pot you have, doesn't matter. You can make it no matter what you have. A big onion, chop it up, throw it in. Some salt, generous amount of sea salt. And some black pepper and turmeric. Add enough water to just barely cover the bones. That's it. Turmeric, awesome antioxidant properties. This bone broth that you get from this recipe, from just these simple ingredients, is superb. You're gonna love it. And then all you do is boil it, Remove the scum because it gives it a weird, strange flavor if you leave it in there. Start the pressure cooking process for about three hours on high and then just let the pressure naturally release. It's done. I'm gonna just filter my bone broth now. <laughs> See the onion and the bones. I've given everything they could to this delicious broth. So I'm just filtering it to get rid of all the solids so we're left with the beautiful, wonderful stock. However, you don't need to filter it. You can eat these onions or the meat that's on the bones. You can do that too. And that's our bone broth done use it in your soup stews whatever it is perfect yum or you can just have it like a nummy 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 soup i say nummy because my daughter says nummy yummy this is the easiest recipe you will ever find and it produces the best quality bone broth and most flavorful so good a warm cup of that every morning instead of like a tea or something. Yeah. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications. Every time I post a video, you will know. And leave a comment. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, 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 bye. So let's get do it. Do it. As a side tip, if you've got a husband or a dog, you just give them what's in that little filter there.
That's for you. As a side tip, 